I made it out with difficulty. It's such a nice place to stay. Coffee this morning. It was just lovely. Really, really nice old couple. And I'm so grateful. Nice rolling paved roads. Can't complain. I've got a gas station to go to in Ferndale for a resupply. And then I don't really know what. I'll have a look when I get there. But it's a beautiful day. I bought way too much food. I've got a couple of burritos. I'm at this gas station. It's got this market in Ferndale. She's struggling to stay hydrated still. So I bought plenty of um, plenty of these, so I can drink a ton of water now, and then put put those in my water bottle, and then see if I can fit all this into my frame bag. I probably won't be able to, so I'm going to be jamming stuff all over the place. And then there's a place called Swan Lake, which is about 25 miles away. I'll put me about 45 for the day. And it's off trail, which is sad. So I'd add another five miles on, but they're highway miles. The problem is there's a big pass coming up and I don't know where water is. If I'm being over cautious. I can tell that I'm struggling a bit with hydration. So I'm gonna see what happens when I get to Swan Lake, see how I feel, and then take it from there. Nice big climb, six and a half miles, uh, about 525 meters. I was looking and um, when, the, when the ascents get really steep, I can actually push the same speed that I can ride. Um, so I am pushing on those bits, because it gives me time out of the saddle. Um, so I don't develop saddle sores. Climb done. Now for the descent. I just had a warning from Trevor saying there's lots of trees down and potholes and uh, yeah I think he's got a flat well I know he has so I'll be careful on the way down man that was hard work in the heat yep Lots of potholes and lots of downed trees. Still good fun though. And it's such a cool breeze now, it's lovely. So I made it to camp. Didn't do um, Swan Lake. Pressed on, I think another 14 miles. So I've done 55 miles. 1100 meters of ascent. I didn't film much because I bumped into um, Trevor and Ian and a couple of other guys who were down there. That's the campsite. Lovely spot. But I don't know. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but I don't like filming people. Who knows? Before I did YouTube, I would have hated people filming me. But what a spot. Perfect. Half past five. Yeah, been a good day. Now to maybe rinse off a bit and go to bed. Day 10, I think. I'm all packed up. Everyone else has just gone. There was three of us, four of us here last night. The two lads I've been riding with and an older guy. And um, yeah, it was a good quiet night. So I think I've got about 50 miles. It's either 50 or 72. But if I do 72 miles, it's, it's like 7,200 feet of climbing. I think it's gonna be a short 50 day. And then another big day tomorrow into a town called Ovando. It's very remote out here. There's, there's nothing, there's no service, nothing. But it's very beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna try and enjoy it. I'm gonna take my time more. Yesterday, didn't feel great yesterday. I think I'm just pushing it 
too hard, trying to get everywhere quicker than I need to. I've just got to remember I'm in the middle of Montana and it's absolutely beautiful out here. It's threatened rain all day, but I haven't felt any. And it looks like it's brightening up in that direction, which is the direction I'm heading, which is good. But it's been so cool, it's just been lovely. The last couple of days have been so hot. But yeah, this is just almost cold when you're doing the uh, downhills. It's just amazing. Yes, yeah, lovely, lovely uh, part of the trail. Montana is empty, like seriously empty. I've been riding, I don't know, two and a half hours. I haven't seen a soul, not one single person. Just gone 12 o'clock, I'm hungry. I'd love to stop and eat, but the mosquitoes just swarm you. Bastards. I've got 20 miles to go, roughly, to this campsite. Quite a lot of climbing. There's no water source listed there, so today might be the first time I have to load up with some extra water in that backpack thing. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a quick snack and then get moving. No mozzies on this bridge. I am going to stop for a minute. Have a proper break. Keep spotting the rain, but nothing bad. I think I prefer this to the heat. Sour Patch Kids. I just filled up with water at the bottom of this climb. And that might be all I've got uh, to last me through tonight. If you stop for a microsecond, you have 20 mosquitoes. I'm wondering what that would be a footprint of. Something. Toothy. <laughs> awesome. I was starting to worry. Oh, I'm going to fill up. Yeah, everything. So the uh, campsite that I was going to wasn't a campsite. Um, so I've pushed on. It's quite a big climb. But I'm kind of thinking, just keep going whilst it's cool. Because I don't want to be doing this when it's hot tomorrow. And it's actually nice now. So I'm just going to get as far as I feel. And I'll just stop on the side of the road. And then, uh, yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. When there's not much choice. Let's be honest. It's a Welsh accent. I haven't found any camp spots. And I'm like 200 metres from the top. So I reckon I'm going to go to the top. And um, I don't know, if there's a space up there, I'll camp, because that'd be quite cool. But I think there's only a 10 mile descent to a campsite. And I'm kind of thinking getting that done. I could probably then maybe get up and have a shower, get cleaned in the morning, and then have a shortish trip into Ovando, and then just chill out there for the day. We'll see. I don't know. I'm pushing it over this. Instant death. 
This is about the most stunning view I have ever seen. I know the GoPro isn't going to do any justice, but it's absolutely beyond belief. It's quarter past seven and I'm just dawdling. I just, I don't want to rush. That's right, I think. I have no idea where I'm staying tonight, but I just can't rush through this. It's just incredible. And for my um, Bert and Ernie, I can't do Bert, but somebody asked if I could, so here's my Ernie. Hey Bert! Hey, Bert. Ah, uh, shut up, Ernie. The Bert. Probably not very good. So I just got a message from Trevor to say that there's free camping behind the ice cream place in Sealing Lake, which is very close to me. And they've got showers and they've got burgers and ice cream. I'd be surprised if they're still open, but I hope they are. I am so close. After a day like today, a burger. Oh my God. The second half of today, that descent, and all, everything from that on has been the best trail I have ever ridden. It's just been obscenely good. Ice cream palace. It's over there. Free camping. And they were open. Burger, onion rings, huckleberry shake. Awesome. That was a big day. 71 and a half miles, 2,380 meters of elevation. That's huge for me. That was a big day. So I'm gonna eat this and crash. Tomorrow, Ovando. I think it's only 30 miles. I might have a look around here first though. Right, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Misty morning. I slept well. Now go into this espresso place for coffee, food maybe. Cool little coffee shop. It's like an antique shop and a bookshop as well. Now for another coffee and then pack up and get going. All packed up. Excellent place to stay. Very grateful to these people for letting us stay here, feeding me burgers. Good people. So yeah, 30 miles to Ovando. It's five to 10, I've been messing around. I just watched actually the uh, last video, my last video. And uh, yeah, I really liked it. Even though it's, you know, I filmed them and uh, Ross edits them, so I never really know what they're, what they're going to be like. But uh, yeah, I was really pleased with it. I'm so glad I've got a record of it. I can watch this probably when I'm 70 or 80, if I make it to 80. I'll make it to 80. I'm so glad I did that climb yesterday evening. And it was nice and cool. Because if I'd have been doing it now, I'd have been dying because it's boiling. So yeah, I made the right choice, albeit by accident. 
but it doesn't matter it worked out I know for next time actually there's no reason not to stay out late I mean I had time to do everything last night and maybe I'll start taking it slower through the day and dragging them out a bit we'll see I know I've got quite a climb right now so I'd better get my head down hot I've been using these um, electrolyte tablets thanks to Trevor for giving me some I'm going to pick some more up in Ovando ah, I'm not far in dawdling again doing these shots it does take a while doing the YouTube thing but it's definitely worth it definitely more observant I'm always looking around for nice shots and maybe see more than if I wasn't going to be filming it just put the drone up and as soon as I did two guys from Canada came up behind me and rode through the shot with me so and they said they were going to subscribe so I hope they did or do but uh, yeah, it's nice. I try not to get the drone up when anyone's around because I don't know. I think drones can be a little bit obnoxious when you're trying to enjoy nature and then you've got that buzzing, but I make sure no one's about and I send it high so you can't really tell it's there. But um, I didn't expect to see anyone. There you go. Hopefully it was a good shot and worth it. said population about 50, dogs over 100. This is a small town. I love this town already. This is the one, it's quite famous. It's got like a jailhouse you can stay in or a teepee or a cabin, but the hotel is super cheap. So I'm staying in here tonight. Room number one, they got laundry and Wi-Fi and showers. There's a restaurant over there. All good. This is the jail that Ian and Trevor are staying in. I would have had it. Beat me to it. Damn them. But yeah, hotel. Better. I'm living it up. Electrolytes. Look at this shop then. I've just been speaking to the owner. Super nice lady. It's a fishing shop really, but they do bike stuff too. I love this town. All I need, perfect. Yeah, nice little room. Now for a shower. Sink laundry, done. This will dry in no time. I love this shirt. I could ride in this, but this has been awesome. It looks like a flannel shirt, but it's not. It's a really thin, like polyester. And just being able to unbutton the front. Oh man, it's so nice. Come down those descents, just flapping. If anyone saw me, they'd be horrified. But uh, there's no one out here, so whatever. I think I'm gonna give the bike a little uh, wash around the corner. It's a bike wash thing. So yeah. I haven't washed it since I've been out here. 500 miles. Yeah, 
Finest frame bag this side of the Mississippi. Waterproof, built right. And dressed for dinner. Awesome, hey? No shame. I'm gonna go now up the road to this little restaurant and see what that's all about. I know they've got beer, one beer, one and a half. One, half, one and a half. Apparently this is a 15 minute walk or a five minute bike ride. Fancy a walk. I get enough bike riding, don't I? I know I sound like a broken record, but Ovano, what a place. Ovando, not Ovano, Ovando. Awesome place, love it. Wow, that place was busy. If we had bars like that in Britain, I'd go out drinking. It's such a cool place. It's only five past eight. I'll be in bed asleep by half nine. Big day tomorrow though. Or I want to get to this Llama Ranch. It's another like famous place on the Great Divide. I'll be there late. But that's fine. I'm starting to learn. Make the most of the whole day. If I could stop in the midday heat and just chill out somewhere, I would. But the mosquitoes just punish you. But if I can find somewhere where they're not, I'll do that. This whole trip so far has exceeded every expectation. It's just magic, honestly. If, you, if you're thinking of doing it, just do it. It's just incredible. I know I'm only 500 miles in, but just incredible. That was a good day, good evening. It was only about 30 miles, about 700 meters I'd say, maybe a bit more. So yeah, a Nero, as we call it, nearly zero. So I'm gonna go to bed now, anyway. I'm very tired, half past eight, and an early start, as I've said probably 15 times. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's nice and cool, it's early. It's gonna get hotter. I've got two big climbs. I think I'm gonna get the first one out of the way before it gets really hot. The second one I'm just gonna to have to live with. But I'm staying at a place right at the bottom of the second peak. So all I've gotta do is get up and then it's just a downhill. So the plan is to drink this coffee, force feed myself this banana. I'm not good with breakfast, but I'm going to need the energy. And then get going. Slow and steady. My legs feel weak. Well, I'm apprehensive about today. But I have to keep remembering I don't, I don't have to go the whole 61 miles. I could change my mind. But we'll see. Are they mules? I think they're mules. I might be wrong. Twenty past nine. 15 miles, probably the easiest 15 miles on the whole trail so far. 
but those climbs are about to begin. My strategy today for hydration, I've got electrolytes in this water bottle, electrolytes in this one, just water in the other one. I've got some salted peanuts, salted cashews for the salts. And that's what I'm gonna try and do. See if I can get today done without arriving with a massive headache. After the first climb, I'm into Lincoln, where I can probably buy some more drinks. I don't know, Gatorades or something like that. We'll see. I should be over into Lincoln before it gets too hot. So I'm going well so far. I think that road I rode along and came out. <clears throat> no wonder it was easy, you can see how flat it is. I'm nearly at the top of the first climb. The guy just passed me in his pickup going up and told me he's got some snacks and water for me for when I get to the top, which is good. Extra motivation to keep going. Yeah, so that guy was with the Adventure Cycling Association, whose maps I use, incidentally, for all of this. And uh, he's leading a party of 40 people doing this, doing the GDMBR. Yeah, he was up there with snacks and drinks for him, so he let me have some. So he's a king, a prince among men. And uh, yeah, I was having a chat to him about all these things. There's a couple of people with e-bikes doing them as well, and I'm all pro e-bike. Anything to get people out. Some people don't like them, but I don't know. Who cares? If you're out, you're riding, enjoying nature, it's got to be a good thing. So now I'm going down, a small little tiny uphill on the way down, and then I'll be into Lincoln. And if there's something there, I'll buy some food or get a drink or whatever. We're in Lincoln, just need a store get some drinks, quick snack, and keep moving, I reckon. Well, that was an interesting little town. That's just the kind of place I want to stay, but I can't stop at 30 miles. I just saw the um, Canadian guys, Joe and John, at the grocery store. I had a chat with them, they're staying there. I got some Gatorade, some snacks, and now, see how far, 39, 22 miles, with a big pass to Llama Ranch. Have right, we started this now, this next pass. 579 meters to go over 7.8 miles not too bad I think I'm at the summit that was brutal definitely the hardest climb yet a lot of pushing towards the end but the positives, my legs are definitely stronger. And on top of that, I don't feel bad. I don't feel, I haven't got a headache. Um, I mean, I'm tired. I haven't got the mushy head. I think I'm on top of my rehydration. I've got a downhill now to Llama Ranch, which I'm really looking forward to getting to. I've no idea what to expect when I get there. I just know it's supposed to be a cool place. 
Um, so I will see you down there. I don't even know if they've got llamas. They must have. We'll see. I think this is it. Yep, this guy is definitely flagging me down. Thank you, thank you, kind sir. They have actual llamas. I'm here. Amazing place. I mean, check all this out. Quite a few people here. I'm staying with a guy in one of these huts called Rob, who's from Bridge End in Wales. So many Welsh people on this trip. Um, and there's a party later. We're gonna have a fire, something to eat. I've had a few beers. This is the coolest place. I knew it would be. So, yeah. It's very busy, so I'm not going to film stuff. Forgot again. 62 miles. 1,530 metres of ascent. It's a decent day. Not my biggest, but it feels like it. That second climb was brutal. But it was all worth it for this party time it's 20 to 8 my bedtime's usually at 8 o'clock it's going to be a late night for me